Scientists use a tool called a mist net, which is basically a cafeteria lady's hair net the size of a car on top of two poles. They hang it over a river or another passageway they think that had a good chance of catching bats, and they wait. The bats are not good at sensing the nets because their echolocation doesn't work well against the nets, so they end up falling into the net, tangling themselves up. The scientists, every 10 to 15 minutes, check the net and see if there's a bat in the net. If so, they take it out, put it in a bag, bring it to the table, and do some research, like it's determine its age, measure its forearm, uh, whether it's a male or female, and so on. After they're done, they release it into the wild unharmed. One net, which is the hard net, is more for buildings, like opening buildings and passageways in buildings, while the mist net is more for like streams and rivers and upper, other open passageways. I've been helping out with mist netting since I think I was five. This a really a long time because I can hardly remember anything at five, but I think I was helping out since I was five. And it's been really fun. For me, what it's like to teach, teach other kids about bats, I just love the experience of helping other people and not just helping the people, but helping the bats and helping the world. It's just a really amazing experience for me. And I like to make it another great experience for the other kids that I'm teaching. So this is your bat. What I wish everyone knew about bats is that they're not scary, they're not frightening, they're not hostile, they're actually just misunderstood and very unique and kind.